this video, I'm going to show you how to log in a user using Firebase authentication on the web. So as you can see here, I have a basic login page which I created in another video and I'm going to show you how you can use the Firebase login with Google function on Firebase. So the first thing to do is head on over to firebase.com then click on get started. From there, click on add new project. Give your project a name. Make sure you disable analytics because we don't need them. Click on the web app because we're creating a web app. Give your web app a name and then click on register. This will give us a script tag which we'll have to post in our project. So copy this function create a javascript file and paste this function in I'm going to remove the comments because they are a bit distracting next I'm going to go to my html and link my html to my javascript file make sure you defer this and you set the type to module We are basically just importing initialize app from Firebase here, but we need to import more functions. So we will import another function called get auth from Firebase auth this time. Go back to Firebase, click on continue, and then click on the authentication tab. Click on get started, and then enable Google. Once Google is enabled, we can go over to settings and then authorize domains and then add our local host domain. Make sure you don't include the port number here. From there, we are going to import another function called Google Auth Provider and then we are going to initialize the Google Pro Auth Provider as our provider next we initialize get auth and we set the auth language to English Next, we import another function called sign in with pop up. We give the button an ID so that we can we can use it. From there, we go back to our JavaScript file and grab our button. and then add an event listener to that button. The event that we're going to be listening for is click and once that button is clicked, we're going to run this function. To test it, I'm going to alert us five. So as you can see, when I click the button, five is printed and it works. So next, I'm going to copy this function here, sign in with pop-up and I'm going to post paste it in this function here yeah, so that when we click the button this function this function runs and i'm just going to erase the comments and erase some of these lines because we don't need them what we need is a token the credentials and the user
I'm going to console log the, the user so that I can get the details when I run this function and I'm going to make sure that we relocate the window to another file once this function is successful. I'm going to name that file dashboard and I'm going to create it here. I'm just going to say our user is logged in. And I'm going to put our email. I'm going to put our email, our display name, and our Google picture here. We're going to face those from Firebase once we're logged in. So to test the function, click on the button. And as you can see, the pop-up appears and then disappear. This is because our domain is not our domain is not added in authorized domains. So what we need to do is go back to Firebase, copy our domain, make sure you don't copy the port, go on over to Firebase, settings, authorized domains then add our domain here and now as you can see when i click on this button again we get our google accounts so as you can see we've now successfully logged in a user using firebase and google a user is successfully logged in using their google account and their details are displayed here at the bottom because i console logged them here so next I'm going to show you how we can fetch the profile picture of that user as well as their email and display name. The account that we've logged in with has been created on our Firebase backend. We can delete this account, we can ban it, or we can disable it. So to fetch the, the display name, email and profile picture of the user that is currently logged into our app, we need to write another function. That function is called update user profile update profile that function is called update profile and it takes in our user as an argument the code for this function will be available in my github and i'll also include a link to the firebase documentation so that you can read up on that if you want to Anyways, I hope this video helped, thanks for watching, please like the video, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.